Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to go through how to set up a domain inside of ClickFunnels. I've done multiple videos on this in the past, but things have changed over time, so I want to come in here and uh, shoot a new video with everything all cleaned up with the latest, and right now it's March 4th of 2024. So what you want to do, start off, come into ClickFunnels here, come up to the top, click the second icon down, it'll bring you to sites, then you click on domains down here. And we are going to say we want to connect an existing domain because I've already purchased this domain at GoDaddy. Doesn't matter who your domain registrar is, name, cheap, Bluehost, whatever. Uh, it'll all work the same. It'll just look a little bit different inside of your domain registrar when we go in there and we have to make one minor change to the name servers inside of your existing domain registrar. So what we want to do here is we want to connect our existing domain. So we're going to click on that. Let's uh, click on it there, and we're going to type it in. Now with this here, we want to type it in with the subdomain that we want to use. So in this case here, we're going to just use our standard old www subdomain. So I will, what happened, something happened here. So let me just click on OK, and we'll try this again, and we'll do that. And now we will click on Continue, and it says enter the domain with the subdomain. We already got that. It says it's registered at GoDaddy. He's got that right. Went out, found it at GoDaddy. And now we're going to say add the domain. Now, the next thing we're going to see pop up here is he's going to give us the opportunity to run this through ClickFunnels automated system. I would suggest not to do it, and I'm not going to do that in this video. Next thing we also want to do here is turn off this as well. I don't think that kicks in uh, if you don't click this button here, but we'll just turn it off anyway. So what we want to do now is we want to show the DNS tables, and the first thing we want to do is we want to come down here to the very verification record and let me see it's really it's right here at the very top and so what we're going to do over here on the right hand side well first off we don't want to do this yet I completely forgot we need to change our name servers in GoDaddy and in order to do that we need to open this up and start working in Cloudflare. If you don't have a Cloudflare account, go there. The accounts are absolutely free. I've never paid Cloudflare a dime for doing any of this kind of DNS work inside of there. So you're going to go over get yourself a Cloudflare account, and then in the upper right-hand corner, it's going to say Add Site. You're going to click on that, and that'll bring you to this page right here. Now, the domain I want to use is FunnelCodeSecrets.com. I'm going to copy that because I may need it again later, and we're just going to click on Continue. And what it's going to do right now, after we tell it we want to use the free plan down here, is it's going to go out to GoDaddy, and it's going to grab a bunch of records from GoDaddy. They're known as DNS records, and they're going to pull them into Cloudflare. And then once we get them in there, then we can make some modifications to them. Now, what you're going to see here is quite unusual. It pulled in a million records, and part of the reason why is I've set this particular domain up several times. So what we want to do, if you see it like this, that's okay, because what we want to do is we want to delete every single CNAME record in here, and we also want to delete every single A record in here, if there were any A records. And in this case here, because I've set this up before, we're also going to delete these text records, because these are the ones we're going to put back in, and I want to show you how to do that. So in this case here, like I said, you normally wouldn't see this much stuff. In this case here, we will delete everything. Normally, you're not going to see this. You'll have some A records. You always want to delete the A records, and if it's a quadruple A record, you also want to delete those. If you have some other C name records in here, chances are you're going to probably just leave them. Normally, they should not be a problem. It's the A records that are the problem. So I'm going to pause for a minute, and I'm going to absolutely delete out everything in here. Okay, so we just deleted out all the records. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. What we deleted out, we deleted out of Cloudflare only. We did not change anything that would potentially be over in your domain registrar, like my case here. We're in, Cloud, um, in GoDaddy. So we did not remove anything from GoDaddy. What we're going to do now is we're going to put in new name servers that are connect, going to connect GoDaddy to Cloudflare. If you ever want to disconnect them, you just go back into your 
your domain registrar and you tell it to set the name servers back to default. And I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. So what we're going to say here next is we're going to continue and we're going to say uh, add records later. That's fine. That's exactly what we want. We want to confirm this. And in your case here, like I said, normally you will have some in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we got two new name servers we need to put into your domain registrar. So we're going to copy this and we're going to go into my uh, GoDaddy account. We come in here and I already uh, went to where I found my name servers. Now, like I said, Bluehost, Name, Namecheap, wherever you have it is going to look different. So you're going to have to hunt around a little bit or Google it and say, okay, where do I find the name servers? And you're going to, in this case here, I already had them set to the new one. So let me undo this because I thought I had already done that. Maybe I had not. Yeah, here we go. Now we are back to the default Cloudflare name server. So what we want to do is we want to change the name servers. So we're going to do that. Now, right now, it's set to the GoDaddy name servers. We're going to set it to, I'll use my own name servers. If you ever want to disconnect this domain from Cloudflare, you just come in here and you set this back to use the default name servers that you already had in here, uh, like when you started. And it'll just automatically do it for you. You just need to turn it on. So we're going to grab a hold of both of these new name servers. We are going to paste them in here, and we are going to save this. And and we're going to click on continue and this in about 30 seconds or so this page inside of GoDaddy will refresh itself and it will show you what the new name servers are. So now what we can do is we can go back into Cloudflare as GoDaddy does its thing. We're going to come down to the bottom here. We're going to click on continue and then we're going to walk through this little process here and we're just going to say get started and we want to make sure the automatic TT, HTTP whatever it is PS rewrites is turned on. We're going to save that. Always use HTTPS. Yes, we want that turned on. And we want to click on save. And then broadly, that speeds the site up. We want that turned on as well. All of these things will make sure it always goes to the secured socket layer version of the site. We want to make sure it always does that for a whole bunch of reasons. So now here we are here. And I'm not seeing anything. Oh, one other thing I will show you down here at the bottom is it says remove from cloud flare. If you ever want to take this domain out of Cloudflare, you just click on that as well. You don't have to do this in order to disconnect it from your, your domain registrar. This is just removing it completely from Cloudflare as well. So now over here on the left, we're going to come back over. We're going to click on DNS, and we're going to come in here. We're going to see again what we had before, which is it is empty, and we're going to click on Add a Record. Now we're going to go back into ClickFunnels, and we're going to grab a hold of this very top one here. This is known as a verification record because this then verifies to ClickFunnels that you are accessing this from Cloudflare or from anywhere else you may have wanted to set this up, but in our case, we're using Cloudflare. So we're going to click to copy, but also see over here it says host name and it has an at sign. At sign is short for the actual root domain itself, in this case here, funnelcodesecrets.com. So we're going to come back into Cloudflare Cloudflare, and we're going to paste in this information. So first off, we're going to paste in that big long line of code we had here. We're going to come down to the bottom. We're going to click on text because I didn't show you this, but this right here says type of text. So we want to do text. And then in this blank right here, we are going to put in that at sign. And where's my at sign? It's the two. There we go. And I need to paste this back in because I had not set the text first off to begin there. So we have this here and we are going to save this. Now what we want to do is come back into ClickFunnels and we want to validate our ownership. And it may take a little bit here. We may have to click this a few times to get it to actually validate the ownership. So I'm going to pause this for a second. And I guess as I was turning that off, it does say here ownership verified already. So let's click on this. And so we got one green check mark. So we got started here. It verified it. It knows that it's connected to Cloudflare. And at this point here, I would also suspect if we go back into GoDaddy and we refresh this page right here, it used to refresh itself. Now apparently it does not. Now we got those two new name servers put in there right there. So what we want to do is go back into ClickFunnels. Let's grab the second one. 
because we are using the www subdomain. We are going to click to copy. We're going to make this a C name record and we're going to use the host name of triple W. So we'll come in here. We're going to add a record, come over to the left, down to C name, put in www, and then we will paste in what is the URL for ClickFunnels. So it makes the connection between the two. And we're going to then turn this off and we are going to save it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect this up for email. Now, I don't know. I'm, I guess I maybe or maybe have not ever tested this, but I'm not sure if you have to do all of this if you're not going to use email on this domain. But we're gonna say we're gonna use email on this domain, and so we're going to do this. And again, I don't think I really said it earlier, but this we're setting this up primarily to be the site homepage. So whatever page somebody's gonna land on, if they come to www.funnelcodesecrets.com, this will be that site homepage. If there is a path at the end, then that could go off to other different kinds of pages. It could go to a blog. It could go to a funnel. It could go to a lot of different places. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to uh, do the same thing as before. We're going to copy this one on the right-hand side here, and we also see that this is a text uh, type of record. So we are going to come down here. We're going to add another record. We're going to come down, and we're going to say it is a text. So just scroll all the way to the bottom. We are going to paste that in. We will go back into ClickFunnels and we will grab that right there. Copy that back into Cloudflare and then right there. And we will save that and we will do that for the remaining items. So in this case here, we have the at or the root domain is a text record pointing to this bit of information right there. So we'll come back over here, add this. We're going to say again, a text record, just scroll all the way down to the bottom, put in the at sign and paste that in and save it. And we should have two more to go. We have our D mark right here. So we are going to copy that again. That is a text record. So we're going to do that. Scroll down text. I will paste this in right there. And then I think it is. Yeah, it's just underscore D mark. Copy that paste that into the first blank, save it. And we've got one last one here. It's a C name record. So we will come over here, add that, come down, C name, paste that in right there. Go back, get that last bit of info, copy that, paste this in, turn off the proxy and click on save. And you will notice here, if we reload the page, I'm pretty sure it comes in in alphabetical order, first by type and then by the name. And that's exactly what it did here. It alphabetizes everything for us. Now we want to go back into ClickFunnels and we want to say we want to check our connections. So it's now reaching out to Cloudflare and seeing if we got everything hooked up properly. And a lot of times you'll see this where someone will turn on, someone will actually that we're on will turn off. And you got to do it a little bit because it takes a little bit for all this information to propagate across the web. And so we'll just hang out for a little bit here or pause and let everything get caught up. Now you will see in this case here, this one up at the top here turned red, all the rest of them turned green, uh, but it doesn't seem to be mattering because it is adding the SSL to your domain at this point here. So occasionally these are not accurate. Don't worry about it. If you get a message like this that says adding SSL to your domain, you know everything is working right. How long will this take? I've had it recently where it's five or 10 minutes. Other times it's taken longer. So you just got to kind of, you know, go do something else for a while then check back on it but the other thing that we will check on at this point is to see if it connected everything because like I said the ones down here at the bottom are for your email marketing so we want to make sure that that got set up so we're going to come over here and click on where you see the envelopes over here uh, this is for your marketing you're going to go to marketing settings 
Then you're going to go to email domains, and you're going to see right here, funnel code secrets, we got five green check marks, so we're good to go. Just to verify that, we can come over here and we can click on this again, make sure that everything stayed green. That means that your email should be ready to go. And of course, then you have to set up your email and do a bunch of other stuff, but that's not for this video. So let's go back over here into our domains. And like I said, it could take, whoop, it's already hooked up. I didn't even pause here at all. So that, geez, that was less than five minutes. So that was pretty good. We are all hooked up and don't worry about it. That one still shows red. If we get it to work uh, just fine, that's what we're going to do. So now let's do this. Let's just take our www.funnelcodesecrets.com. We're going to come over here into an incognito window, and we're going to hit enter and see what happens. And at this point here, because I haven't done this for a while, I kind of forgot what happened because there's a couple steps I have not finished yet. Okay, so it sent me to this page right here, which is interesting, danhavy.com.myclickfunnels, and for some reason it put in all this at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix that by coming in – and we're going to uh, come up here to our page right there. All right, so to our site. And we're going to come over. We're going to click on these three dots. We're going to come down to site settings. And we're going to change this here on our domain from my ClickFunnels subdomain that you get when you set up your account now to our www.funnelcodesecrets.com. And then we are going to update our site. Now we're going to give this a minute to propagate. And then when I reload this, hopefully we will get a really bad old funnel hub that I had built like a year or so ago. And that is exactly what we got on this old Funnel Hub page because what we set here, because when we did this, we set this so that this is your site homepage right here. We set it so that this will go to the site homepage. Now, like I said, if you put a slash and something else at the end, then that can take you to other pages, blogs, uh, funnels, uh, or even courses if you put a, a long path at the end of it. But this is how you set up the basics of it to be able to set up your site homepage and then we go from there with other videos and other stuff you will see. Um, but what do we want to do now is we want to test something because we look at the code right here. So we got our triple W dot funnel code secrets dot com. Well, let's say we don't want that. We want somebody to be able to just type in funnel code secrets dot com without the triple W in front of it, which is what that one little checkbox we had earlier did. And and it actually forwarded me there, which makes me think that I have to check to see what the settings are inside of Cloudflare because, like I said, I had set this up once before, and because of that, it may have remembered. Yep, that's exactly what it did. It remembered what I had set up in here. So what I want to do is I want to turn these two off for right now, and then we'll come back over here, and we will test this again take that out of there and hit enter and then yeah it's going to keep doing it because it's already within the system but normally it would have sent us probably to a page could not be found or it could have sent us to a lot of different places but we want to have it set up so that when somebody types in just the root domain it is going to take us to the triple W version of it which is what is technically connected to uh, click funnels Okay, so here I took out the triple W and it gave me an error. So what we want to be able to do is get all the traffic we possibly can to your site because you're out there, you're spending money on ads, you're talking to people, you're doing webinars, you're doing whatever, and if you give them a link, you want them to actually be able to get to your site homepage in this case right here. But we also want them to be able to get to any pages on your site as well. So not just the root domain every time, but if you give them a root domain with the triple W in front of it, of course, making a subdomain and then a slash and any kind of path afterwards, we also want to make sure they get there too, even if they make a mistake and put in uh, something else other than triple W, they don't put in the HTTPS, you know, stuff like that. We want to we want to put as much belt and suspenders on this thing as we can to get as much traffic to you as possible if somebody does 
does manage to mess up your domain when they're typing it in. So we have to add, in this case here, two more CNAME records. So we are going to come over here, add a record, we're going to come down, we're going to say CNAME, and in this case here we're going to put in the at sign, and then we're going to come down here and we're going to grab a hold of this content right there. We're going to put that in. That is our target that says send it to ClickFunnels. So we're saying in this case here, if somebody types in just the root domain, we want that to go to ClickFunnels. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to add even one more record, and we're going to say C name here, and we're going to put in an asterisk right there, and we're going to paste that same value for the target back in, and we're going to turn this off. In this case here, we are saying if somebody types in something for a subdomain, and that's what this would be here, a subdomain in front of funnelcodesecrets.com, anything, we want it to go to the triple W version of this. Now we're going to go to the page rules, and this is where we set up a few additional things, including if they had a path at the end. So they mess it up, but they got the path right, they're going to send them to the right page. Now I will tell you, if they get the path wrong, no matter what, they're not gonna to get to the page because that page doesn't exist. And so there's no way we can know where to redirect them to because what they typed in in the first place, we can't match up to because we don't know what the heck it is they typed in. So in this case here, I'm gonna just turn these back on because I actually made a slight adjustment to it. Actually, no, I didn't, I left it exactly the same. I made adjustment, then I changed it back, but let's just take a look at it so we'll blow this up here so we're saying here just the root domain funnelcodesecrets.com slash asterisk and the asterisk will then pick up any path that they put in the end we want a forwarding url 301 permanent redirect and then we're going to send this to the triple w version of it funnelcodesecrets.com slash dollar sign one dollar sign one means whatever they put up here in this asterisk we want it down here at the bottom so they put in the root with a path it will take them to the triple w version with the root and then that path, and we will save that, even though I don't need to save it, because it was already saved. So then on the second one here, this is where it got a little, little queak, a little, little weird, and actually, I'm shooting this video second. I shot the one on how to take a funnel page and put a, um, put a, uh, a, a root domain directly to a funnel page. And I did that one first. And then I learned something in there that we can use this wildcard in the beginning. I'd never done this before that last video I shot. But here we're saying we're putting this wildcard in front of there. So if somebody puts in any kind of a subdomain, so let's say they put in hub instead of www or go or whatever in front of there, then it will then in turn send it to the funnelcodesecrets.com. Again, we have the asterisk here at the end signifying the path. Here we have dollar sign two because what we're saying here, dollar sign two says grab the second asterisk. Here's the first asterisk over here. Here's the second asterisk right there put that at the end, and then send them over to it. And assuming I did everything properly, this should now work. The other thing you want to do is make sure you have these two in this order. Because we want it to come in, it goes from the top down, and it will only fire one of these page rules. So it comes down to this first page rule, okay, somebody typed in the root, or the route with a path, and then we're gonna send it to where we wanna go. If not, they came down, they screwed it up somehow, put in the wrong, uh, put in the wrong subdomain, away we go. And all those things we set up earlier regarding the HTTPS, always forcing the HTTPS, that helps take care of the problem if they put in HTTP instead of HTTPS. And I just saw in the background here, this page actually reloaded itself and went to the right page after we turned on this page rule. That's kind of crazy. I didn't know it would do that. So we turned on these page rules. It fixed the problem, sent us here now to the page. So let me just pause for a second. And so now we see over here that when we had no subdomain in here at all, it now still took us to the page we want it to go to. So let's just uh, test a few things. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, let's do this. Let's just grab the 
root domain off of here and kill this and start a new incognito window. And let's move this over and we will paste that in. So now all we have is the root domain. Let's hit enter and let's see if we get here. We got there and you see it has changed it now to the triple W version of this. And so let's take off the HTTPS in the beginning, hit enter and it brought us here. Oops, let's, oh, I got to click up here. Where am I clicking here? Uh, take this to where we wanted to go. So let's take off the beginning here. And like I said, let's just try hub. Hopefully this will work. Cross your fingers. And it sure did. So somebody typed in the wrong subdomain. It still got us there. And now I'm going to pause for a second because I need to get a root to put on here to be able to take us then to a funnel. But I don't have this connected to anything I don't believe. So just give me a second. So what I did is I came into a funnel page, came up here, clicked on settings. We're going to change the domain for this funnel then to our default domain. It'll always tell you that's the default so that you know that this this is the one pointing to the site homepage. In the next video, when we set up a funnel to have its own domain, then uh, that comes in real handy. So it's a good thing you know that here. But right now, we're just going to send it to our site homepage because it's the only the domain that we have set up in ClickFunnels. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to grab a hold of this link right here. And when we click on it, it will bring us to this Voomly sales page. At least it should. So let's just open up a new tab, paste that in. Hit enter and let's see. Yep, it's uh, it's coming in. Voomly sales page right there. Now let's see here. Let's uh, change this and again let's take off uh, the beginning part here. Let's delete that off. Let's hit enter. Let's see if it brought us to the right place. It sure did. Put the triple W and everything back on there. And let's take this off and let's put in the wrong domain it does that now like i said before if you come in here and you you mess up the path well there's no pay there's no page anywhere with that path and there's no way that we can deal with that so again if you're giving a path to somebody make sure it's a short and simple simple path so you say go to funnelcodesecrets.com slash buy or now or you know try to make it one word live whatever it is but funnelcodesecrets.com something that they can't screw up and that's the best thing to do in order to get people your traffic to your page so I think that is it again we went through this this is again this is just for setting it up specifically for the hub in this case but then can also be used for funnels and any other type of page by putting a path at the end but if you're looking for the second video I'm going to do on this, which I've already shot, is that one will teach you how to set it up for a, a domain specifically for a particular funnel. So that's all I have for now. If you've got any questions, just let me know.